Two investigators expose more broken and corroded bus shelters. Potential dangers found just months after the city was told to pay $148 million to a young woman left paralyzed when a bus shelter fell on top of her. Dave Savini investigates. You are looking at bus shelters in need of repair. Someone could be seriously hurt from this. We found them all over the city. Some are missing bolts or brackets needed to keep the shelter secure, so glass doesn't shatter or fall on people. What do you think of this? Oh no, no, that's dangerous. The two investigators obtained 311 calls about bus shelters. Since 2015, there have been more than 1,100 various kinds of broken glass complaints. This shelter at Gage Park is missing a bolt and is so loose it moves with very little pressure. Take a closer look. There's not even a hole in the cement for where the bolt should be. So that's not even a case of a bolt falling out. No, they just never did it. And at Midway Airport, more potential problems with this shelter. As you can see, there is rust on every bolt, and the corrosion process has already started. A clear warning sign that preventative maintenance is needed before someone else gets hurt. Seeing localized corrosion to this extent, can be bad. Dr. Sammy Tin, a metallurgist with IIT, is surprised to see this yeah, given you. just three months ago the city was on the losing end of a $148 million verdict after we exposed how it failed to maintain numerous O'Hare bus shelters, including the one that fell on Tierney Darden, shattering her spinal cord. So if not treated, if not taken care of, this could fail? Correct. I would have thought that they would have learned their lesson. The CBS2 investigators obtained Department of Aviation inspection records for this year, which say the shelter is in good condition and there are no other safety liability issues. He says rust should be removed and the metal painted to seal it from moisture and salt. We also showed Dr. Tin the broken and corroded clamps we found on numerous CTA shelters. If they installed these clamps properly, you sh we should not see failures like this. He says the aluminum clamps corroded prematurely because galvanized steel bolts were used to secure them. Bad combination of metals causing galvanic corrosion. The internal bolts that they used are not what they should be. I think there needs to be more oversight and inspection. That needs to be fixed and fixed immediately. The CTA says it fixed the Gage Park shelter after we asked about it, but said it wasn't a danger. The Aviation Department says the Midway shelter was inspected again last week and believes it is structurally sound. The shelters with the glass and clam problems fall under CDOT, which says it is looking into the issue with J.C. Deco, the company contracted to maintain them. The company says it inspects each one annually and promptly investigates every 311 complaint.